The Singapore athletes are facing a jam-packed sporting calendar in 2023 with regional, Asian and world championships on the horizon. But some say they are unfazed by the pressure of competing so often, with the pandemic forcing competitions to bunch up or be postponed. And that's because the quest to reach the ultimate stage, the 2024 Olympics in Paris, starts now. Alipamsha reports. For the first time, the SEA Games will be held on consecutive years. Singapore's fencers will be looking to repeat the dominant performance in May's Hanoi Games at the Phnom Penh edition later this year. The country's national anthem rang out six times as the team brought home 15 medals. Kiria Tikana did her part with an EPI team gold and individual silver. She featured at the Olympics in Tokyo and thinks Paris is now on everyone's minds. It's going to be a lot more intense for, uh, compared to 2022 because everyone, uh, I mean, fencing-wise, everyone's going to be gunning for the Olympics. So the competition is going to be bigger, a lot more intense, uh, and the stress levels are going to be way higher than what it used to be. So that's something that I would have to be mentally ready for and to be uh, in my best physical shape. She'll have to do just that. Qualification events are squeezed into the next 12 months include the World as well as Asian Championships and the Asian Games. Also eyeing a place in the French capital is this badminton pair. In August, they smashed their way to glory, clinching Singapore's second ever gold medal in the sport at the Commonwealth Games. A bit more pressure on our side, yeah, but we hope that also gives the opponent a little bit more uh, fear, you know. Mm. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> we, we will never know. But of course, like, like, like she said, we, we won't focus on uh, or the, the second match, we will just focus on the first round, then round by round. And 2023 is not going to get any easier. The tour starts in January, so there will be four back-to-back -back tournaments in Asia, starting with Malaysia, India, Indonesia and Thailand. And then the rest of the year will just be really packed because there are many, many tournaments um, in the whole calendar, much more than um, 2022. So in between, we need to learn how to balance it out. This 21-year-old is also not spared from the juggling act. The new year has just started and he's already competing at the Mobile Legends Bang Bang M4 World Championship in Jakarta. Our biggest competitors would be the teams from um, Indonesia and the Philippines because I think they have been pretty dominant in um, MLBB and um, they have a proven track record and they have great teams. So uh, we would prepare for them the most and um, we see them as the biggest threat to, um, to our goals. Amos is also expected to make his SEA Games debut in May, where his team is aiming for a podium finish. He's looking to qualify in at least five other tournaments this year.